Hello everyone and welcome to part two of our robot collagraph project. So for this part, what you're going to need is your collagraph that we made from last week. You're going to need some aluminum foil, some watercolor paint, and a Q-tip if you have it. Otherwise, you can use the eraser of a pencil. You're also going to need some glue and a brush, a brush with some water. If you don't have watercolor paints, what you can use instead is some washable markers, and you'll just need the same thing as a brush and some water. And I'll show you what to do next. So first what you need to do is you need to rip off a sheet of aluminum foil that is the same width as our robot. Looks pretty good. You can keep excess on there. Don't have to rip it all perfectly to size. And then what you're going to do is with your pencil or with any sort of flat edge, you're going to just flatten out the tin foil. So now that we've got our tin foil all flattened out, we are going to glue this down on top of our robot collagraph. So you want to get the glue all over everything, including your robot but try not to let it bunch up too much. So if you see any pockets of bunched up glue, you're gonna wanna smooth that out. And you'll wanna go all the way to the edges so that our tinfoil sticks down to every last little bit of our surface area. Okay, so now as carefully as you possibly can, place your tin foil on top of your robot without wrinkling it too, too much and flatten it out. With your eraser of your pencil or with your Q-tip, you can start to go in and get all those details nice and smoothed out. You want all the edges to be very visible. And get all those details. Make sure you can see the eyes. Make sure you can see the mouth. And our robot is a true robot now because he's made out of metal. So with any extra pieces, you can either fold them in back like this and glue them down or tape them, or you can just cut them off. Okay, so now with our paintbrush and our water and our watercolor paint, or with your washable markers, we are going to actually do what a collagraph is meant to do and make a print. So you'll also be needing a piece of paper. I did also forget that in our materials. So any old piece of paper will do. And you can just pick whatever colors you like to go on your robot. And we're gonna just paint them over top of the tin foil robot. Okay, so I'm gonna do purple. And you can go lightly over top of your robot. Try and go kind of quick so it doesn't dry on you before we actually make our print. And then you're going to flip your paper over on top of your robot Place it down nice and gentle and keep it in place and smooth out over top of your paper with your hands. Try and get the whole robot shape smoothed underneath your hands. You can go in circles, flip your paper over and you've got a print. So 
So do this as many times as you like if you want to experiment with the colors. Even if you wanted to make a couple prints over top of the one that you just created, I think I'll do another one on the same page. And I'll do this one. And let's do red. So I'm going to flip my paper over on top of my robot. I'm going to kind of overlap them a little bit, see what happens when I do that. Smooth my paper out on top of them. Try and get all my little details in there, pressing just a medium weight. You don't have to press too, too hard. I'm going in circles with my hand. Ooh. Now I've got some overlapping robots. You can even paint in a little background if you like. Give them a sky. And there you go. You've got your real life tin robot. And you can make as many prints as you like from this. So you can still also do the crayon rubbings if you like to. But now we have this other option of making prints with paint. Once you're done, if you want to keep your robot nice and clean, you can just go in with a little rag or paper towel and just wipe them down. Nice and gentle though. And there you have it. So I hope you have a fabulous week and I'll see you next time. Bye.